So I'm going to say, oh my gosh. It's about um, what scientists have found. They found something, and I don't know if you've heard about it, but it is not normal. They found it out of nowhere, and it's the 44th group system to be discovered. The 44th. Um, you tell me, hello, Apple Brooks, honey. You all have to tell me if you've heard of it. Um, they discovered five of these ERs. Five of them, you all. And um, there's a there's an ER A. Let me show you it. Let me show you all. This is really, really, really serious, and I'm not just saying that. I'm not. Look at this. I want you to look at it. The E R A, the E R B, the E R three, E R four. Let me flip it around. Shh. Can you hear me? I gotta be very careful. And the E R. Five. They discovered five new boom. It says um, the new group. It was on ABC Chicago, ABC 7 Chicago. It's in Wikipedia. Let's look at this, you all. It's in Wikipedia. It's the interesting uh, engineering the ER blood group. There's a new blood group, you all. Um, the blood system, blood types. They've just found them, you all. October the 9th of 2022. Uh, there's been some type of genetic variation. Uh, a person's blood type is determined by the presence or absence of you know what's known as the groups. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look. Discovery of the group system, you all. Do you think some type of alien race has infiltrated our, um, our, um, oh my gosh, discovered a rare, it's so rare, um, and they think it solves a 30-year mystery. It's even rarer than the RH and the ABOs. Than the ABOs. Look at this, you all. So I saw it from, look, you all can, you, all you, listen, all you got to do is you got to type it in. Uh, you can do KT, KKTV. You can do Chicago 7, MSN, Wired. Look at this. Did you all hear about any of this? I think it's the aliens. I really do, you all. Look, I don't even know what this guess meto is. This, look, at this is very serious, you all. This is very serious to know your type, what you are. Now, see, I am O positive, okay? I'm O positive personally, but listen to this. They said that it's important for everyone to know in case of a life-threatening event that results in the need for a transfusion. They have discovered a new group of types that may need to be aware of a rare occasions. It's the ER group. Oh my gosh, it's in the Journal of the Blood. Five ER antigens in this group based on these variations. It can cause your cells to attack the mismatched cells. I think we are under, a, I think the aliens have got inside of us. It's like, honey, I shrunk the kids or that, whatever it was, you all. It happened in other places where it's incompatible. It was discovered years ago. Oh my gosh. It can be important, you all. It is very, it's very important. Did you know that? Did you all know that? 
You know that old movie where it shows these these people got shrunk and they had to go into the blood machine the bloodstream in their in their vehicles in the bloodstream an old movie um uh the bloodstream trying to fix somebody I really think it's um I think it was um in the blood what on earth what is that movie um the blood stream i don't know oh my gosh i know i'm not gonna watch it you i don't watch it that sounds kind of scary it really does sound kind of scary but did you know about it um the new set and if you got that set it's life-threatening it could be life threatening so it you got to know what type you are you do i know the old is the most otis but the er what happened was i don't even know why i started looking at i was thinking about my blood type while i was sitting in the chair relaxing and i thought well how many different types of blood are they? Because you know who I was thinking about? I was thinking about the reptilians. Okay, I was thinking about the reptilians. I really was. Because, um, you know, I don't think they ever died out. And I think the reptilians are that RH. But then somehow we got the O's and we got the A's and we got the B's. And now we got the ERs. That means emergency. Five of them, but... What it was strange, you all, what did they say? It was like, um, it was in the 44th blood group. It's the 44th group is what it is, you all. They want to be able to define the ERs is what they want. You do not want to have to go. And be in a serious accident. Could you imagine that being in a serious accident? And you need a transfusion. And you think you're one way. But you were wrong. And the wrong type gets stuck in your body. You're going to be in a whole lot of trouble, you all. You really are. So, it, it's look, it's the, it's the 44th group in the system there's that number 44 to be discovered. Mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh. It's a new group. It's five ERs. Did you hear it? It sounds like the extraterrestrial race. It does. Air, air and water. It sounds like an extraterrestrial race. I don't know where they found it at or who or what they found it in. You all, I have no idea. They're talking about some kind of 30-year-old mystery too, you all. Look at that. A 30-year-old mystery. And it provides insight. You all, you can, you can go. Look at this. These things, these alien, these extraterrestrials, um, the incidences of the ERA and ER3 are greater than 99% of the human population. While the ERB is less than 0.01%, the ER and the E5 are at a high frequency, you all. A high frequency in the population. And if you have these things against an ER3, you may develop... Oh my gosh, you all. Don't look at that. This is the Wikipedia, you all. This is... I want to do a low-grade... I'm doing a, a low-grade video right here because this is... This says, oh my gosh, look, it just says you can happen. 
transfusion reactions and adverse effects, a hemoderpius, a hemosiderosis, oh my gosh, acute injury to your lungs, uh, a circulatory overload because of these aliens, this extraterrestrial species has got into your body uh, associated with all of this cause. Oh my gosh, they call it a host, a graft versus host disease. Oh my gosh, you all. That's kind of scary. It really is. It is kind of scary. There was a thing. When aliens invade the earth, or if aliens invaded the earth, you know what NASA does? When they're astronauts, they go out in space. Here's a, here's a thing that they do. Tell me if you've heard of it. They have to be isolated. NASA isolates astronauts. for microbes or something. They do. It's some kind of a protocol. Look at this. The Astronaut's Guide to Microbe Hitchhikers, NASA. This is real, you all. These microbes can hitchhike. They could have hitchhiked on the shuttle or anything. Look at this. They leave a microbial footprint on the space station. A microbe, an alien species, could have hijacked. It could have. It could have hitchhiked a ride from up there to this Earth. Is what it could have done. Get away! It's a ladybug. The bacteria and fungi that came back last month. <gasps> Oh my gosh, will help researchers study how the microgravity affects the tiny organisms that were deliberately brought from Earth and what kinds of microbes were already. Oh my, you all. They are ex exploring June of 2016, exploring the Earth, you, the tiny life, you all. Look at them. They, they're exploring the bacteria as part of the International Space Station research. On May 11th, a sealed capsule containing fungi and bacteria fell from the sky, and it splashed down in the Pacific Ocean, and a castori and whatever could hardly wait to see what was inside of it. This is the wild world of organisms too small for us to see with our eyes. Microgravity, you all. Early days, look, 1970s. From the ocean to the space, uh, they got clean rooms and all of this, studying life and stuff, you all. They got, and now we got um, a new species. We got a new type of species, you all, we do. And um, it doesn't sound too good. Uh, it doesn't, and um, it's a new type. A new type. It's the, the ER system. Five human cells. E-R-A, E-R-B, E-R-3, E-R-4, E-R-5. Oh, my gosh, you all. And they warned about it, you all. You could develop acute whatever if you have antibodies because that's what they do. They don't get along with one another, you all. They don't. Um, that's scary. Did you know about it? You all, did, I didn't look at these comments. Did you all even know about this new species uh, that was found? Hit that like button, you all. This is a new species. And um, 
we got the Van Allen belt. Nothing living can get in or out of it. What if it what if it had a way? Let, 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 no. Let's think about that Amoa Moa. A new Amoa, a Mua Mua thing. That asteroid thing. That ship. See, we've had that come around before, the Amuamua thing. It came around in 47, I think, or something along that. Or maybe, I don't know when. And then it came around just recently again, you all. They could come on asteroids. Maybe that's why. Listen, maybe that's why NASA. Maybe we want to have an early warning system to spot these type of asteroids up there. What if these asteroids are really spaceships? These are um, some type of alien life form that literally wants to invade the Earth. And the scientists or the governments, they know what it is. It's some type of a species. And uh, they do not want it to get close. So they want to shoot it down or push it away. You are, this is, this is, this is wild. Because, um... It's life-threatening. That's why it's wild. So, they first identified it in 1982. First identified, identified it in 1982. And then 1988. It was recognized as a collection by these people in 1990, and then they promoted it to a group in 2022. Look at that, you all. What if we have been slowly infiltrated by these microorganisms, these whatever these things are that got in the bloodstream? Uh, and what if they start multiplying in the bloodstream? They could take over your body or they could kill you. They said it's life-threatening if you don't know your type and you need a transfusion and you get the wrong thing, you could die. Uh, that's what it means. You could die. I am going to go. I am. Because this has uh, reactions. You got reactions of it. Look at all of that, you all. Acute um, circulatory overload, host disease, a host. They got a a host disease within 12 hours, you all. In transfusion, it's associated with a circulatory overload resulting in the signs of excessive fluid in your circulatory system within 12 hours after the transfusion. Includes all of that. It includes all of that. So, um, that is wild. Why did they just, did, I, I know I'll ask this again. Did anybody know that they classified those new blood types? Um, was it out in the news or something? Or was it, was like, it was slowly just, it wasn't making the headlines. The body snatchers. See, this is the normal ones right here. This is the normal ones. A group of scientists have described a newly discovered type. Beside the most commonly bled type, like A, B, O, R, H, this new type is named E, R. So is there... Oh, gosh. This is, um... This is... I don't know what it is. It's five. It's the five in the 44th, whatever it was they said you are, the 44th um, blood group. Why did it got to be the 44th blood group? Um, yeah. I don't know, but this sounds serious. It really does. And I am going to go, you all. I am. I really can't help but think that somehow it's some type of a species that is not of this earth, earthly, you know, it's not born like we are, you know, we, we have, you know, regular processes that we go to, but this one right here, what if it invades the body? 
like the body snatchers you said, and if it was an alien-like species in that type of form. And that's what they said. If aliens invaded the Earth in that movie on the Science Channel, they were talking about those tiny little bitty things. And NASA is concerned about it, too. Concerned about that because they put their astronauts, they had to be in like some kind of a quarantine just to make sure no hijackers, it's a hijacking species of alien life forms, no matter how small it would be, but they specifically talk about microbial size. That's all it would take, a microbial size of an alien to wipe us out or turn us into something else. So, yeah, you all, this is interesting. Look it up. There, All you have to do is type in the ER, emergency. Um, so, with that being said, hello, wherever you are in any part of the world. Hello from my heart to yours. Love you. Have a wonderful rest of your uh, afternoon, you all. I'm going to go eat some shepherd's pie for my birthday.